Hey foodies, today I'm gonna show you how to make these succulent, juicy beef short ribs. So first you wanna start off by chopping up all your veggies. I'm gonna be using one small onion and you can rough chop these, they don't have to be perfect because they're gonna cook down anyways. But if you wanna chop them on the small side, you can go ahead and do that. Once you're done chopping that, you wanna go ahead and set that aside so we could chop up our celery. I'm gonna be using three, that is because I'm only gonna be cooking a small amount. However, if you would like to double this recipe, you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure you double all the ingredients as well. So you wanna go ahead and chop this. We're just gonna chop these finely. And once we're done chopping that, we're gonna go ahead and set that aside as well. Then I'm gonna add a half a cup of sliced mushrooms, two bay leaves, a half of a bulb of garlic, and fresh thyme, which is gonna add some great aroma and flavor to this dish. Now, as far as seasoning, we're gonna keep this real simple. I'm using two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of complete seasoning, and two teaspoons of garlic salt. You just wanna go ahead and give that a good stir. So these are the short ribs. As you can see, they have these little fat marblings. That is exactly what you want. That is going to ensure that there's tons of flavor packed into these short ribs. And of course you wanna get the ones with the bone in. We are braising these short ribs, so you wanna keep those bones in because that's gonna add more flavor. So now I'm gonna go ahead and season this with that seasoning that we just mixed. And you wanna season this like you would season a steak, making sure you season all sides, including the top and bottom as well. That is very important. This is a very thick cut of meat, so if you don't season it well, it's gonna be very bland. And that is not what you want with a recipe like this. Now we're gonna stir these on a medium to high heat, making sure you stir them on all sides for about two minutes. Do not skip this step. That's where you're gonna lock in all the flavor. As you see, once you flip that over, it has that nice brown stir on it. Don't be scared of that char either. Trust me, that has a lot of flavor as well. So you just want to keep stirring these on each side. Make sure you get every side. All right, so once your short ribs are done searing, you want to go ahead and remove those from your pot. And we're going to add in two tablespoons of butter and that garlic. You just want to go ahead and face that down, leave that there, and let that roast. Now add in your onions and stir that until that becomes translucent. Then add in the rest of those vegetables and a teaspoon of garlic and herb seasoning as well as a teaspoon of complete seasoning. As you can see, at this point, we're starting to build in that flavor. And you just wanna keep stirring those veggies until they start to sweat out a little bit. So now I'm gonna add in a cup of red wine. That's gonna help us scrape up some of that fawn that's gonna be at the bottom. You don't wanna leave that in your pot because that has tons of flavor in it as well. Also gonna give this dish a nice rich flavor. I'm gonna transfer that to my crock pot. Don't worry if you don't have one, you can bake this in the oven. Just add in those short ribs. Cover these and let this cook on high until that wine has reduced. It's very important to let that wine reduce, that way we can concentrate the flavor. Now add in four cups of beef stock, or just about enough to almost fully cover your short ribs. Now adding your bay leaves and your thyme, you can also throw in some fresh rosemary as well. Now I'm just gonna add in a little bit more complete and garlic herb seasoning. You don't wanna add too much cause this dish is already gonna be very rich in flavor but you do wanna make sure it is well seasoned. Now just go ahead and give that a good stir. Close that up and let that cook for an hour. After an hour, go ahead and remove your garlic and just squeeze that out. It's gonna make its own garlic paste in the sauce. Put the lid on and let that continue to cook. 
You can check on it from time to time, but it's gonna take you about four hours to get that meat nice and tender. You want that fork to be able to slide in with no problem. As you can see, it's giving me a little bit resistance. I'm gonna cook that a little bit longer. And as you can see, that fork slides right in and that's exactly what you're looking for. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna add equal parts cornstarch to beef stock. And you're just gonna go ahead and give that a good stir until that is well combined, just so we can thicken up the sauce a tad bit. Now pour that in and give that a good stir. Now it's time to plate these. Let me tell you, these beef short ribs were definitely worth the wait. Just gonna go ahead and add some of that gravy. And you can never add too much gravy. Just look at that, you could just see those short ribs glistening. I'm just gonna top this off with a little bit of parsley that's gonna add a pop of color. And you know I gotta cut into these so you can see how tender that is. As you can see, I could just pull it apart with my fork. That meat is soft and juicy and it just melts in your mouth. And there you guys have it, wine braised short ribs. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, be sure to check out that description box. I have the full recipe listed there. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel. I post new recipes a week and I know you guys don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.